YouTube, what is up? Snail Goodfella, Goodfella Nail. Man, I got a new sneaker pick up today. Well, basically, I don't have a box with it, so, you know, I can't call it an unboxing. But, um, most definitely, you know, just taking it straight out the bag or whatever. So, basically, an unbagging. Finish line pickup. Um, so yeah, and um, just got the receipt today and everything too. Just FYI, I know it's probably weird because really I don't really do any unboxes on here or pickups or something like that. I usually just put like you know the sneaker name and blah blah blah. But uh, yep. And uh, what I got in here today is these joints. This is the receipt straight from finish line. It's probably already been circling around. Damn, the box is like falling apart though, for real. Yep, $64.78 after tax. Regular price $59.98. AirTech Challenge 3. You already know I'm an Agassi kind of like dude. So, you know, these definitely was a must cop. Uh, especially for like 60 bucks I've been because I didn't even get a pair get a chance to even cop the the, the lime green joints so I ended up getting the Phoenix Suns got that classic uh, Nike hang tag with the plastic um, with a lot of the OG colorways um, they put at least for the Agassiz the OG colorways they put the Nike this kind of Nike tag with it um, I think it's raw. I think it's great, man. They, you know, you educating people on, you know, what's the OG colors and what's not. Oh, the ones that don't really got the Nike tag is the ones that's uh that's like a retro plus colorway, which is a new colorway <laughs> that didn't come out back in the day. But I like the colorway on his shoes, man. Definitely fly, definitely, definitely fire, definitely flames. I ain't even had this shoe for an hour yet. Like I literally just picked this joint up like a few minutes ago. And, um, and and obviously this still intact too, because if I would have wore this already, I like I don't walk around with this one, like this hang tag. Um, I used to, but I don't anymore. But uh, the the price on these drop kind of quick. Definitely like them, man. Definitely love them. I feel like I'm the only person on YouTube that really, really kind of like get into the Agassiz a lot because I like the shoe a lot. Um, like Air Tech Challenge. Air Flares, Air Tech Challenge 1, 2, 3, um, Air Tech Challenge Hirachis. I got a review, you know, on those coming soon too. But also too, man. This is also a And I can't wait to do it on feet with these, man, at work. Woo! Crazy. This purple go like with the with the fall kind of like theme now, like you know, purple and brown and maroon and all that stuff and the warm colors but this joint is definitely another phoenix sun like colorway that i got i can add to my arsenal um i already got the other one i just did it on foot as well with that is the air force 180 go check that out and go check out the review if you want um yeah so we got coming up you got like a kind of a meshy kind of like nylon on the tongue and it feel like that, like a, not even a nylon. I feel like a neoprene, neoprene on the tongue. These joints probably came out in like, hmm, 1990, 90, 1990, 91, at the latest 92. But by the time 92 came around, they came out with the Air Tech Challenge Hirachis. You know, they kind of look like the Jordan 7. And when everything was, you know, like it had the loops and you can almost see through the shoe. Um, the toe box on here, similar almost to the, uh, it's almost like the Air Tech Challenge 2s, but not really. These right here, these arches, I heard they were supposed to stand for A, like Andre Agassi, just like that. Kind of like how the Jordan 6s is when they got like the 23 on the side. So it's just a cool fun fact to know. And of course, I haven't worn these shoes yet. Man, that bright orange and that purple just hit so well. Tell you man, sneakers is like art. Also at the top, 
of the tongue. You know what I'm saying? Like straight up just like a little quick screen print or whatever. Um, and also, obviously you can see that that's purple, but this flaming ball back here, this is definitely an uh, iconic uh, logo right there. That's kind of like Agassi logo. You know, all the athletes got their own logo and stuff. So definitely happy to get these joints. This is my first pair of threes. I got these in a half size uh, down. So uh, nine and a half for me because, you know, my real size is size 10. I like a snug fit personally. And uh, these joints was the way to go. Uh, you know, before you uh, buy some shoes, man, make sure that you look everywhere make sure it's deals man so you know basically make sure that you you know see what's all available because you know you don't want to pay ninety dollars or something for a kick you know that you could have weighed at waited out on one these joints drop drop kind of quick um they also got that little airbag too shit like i'm actually like looking looking at the shoe like i knew what it looked like on the but like i'm actually still looking at it in hand because me and the guy finish line was just talking you know what i'm saying like we were talking about jays and stuff and about how I many he you know he coming out with too many colors and stuff, but um, these actually these didn't even come out like wasn't out for even a month damn near and they they dropped half price. The regular price on these is probably about one fifteen one twenty is it? The regular price, uh, yeah one twenty, and these dropped to half that already. Um, on the forum and stuff, there was like you know. Uh, it might not be around for Black Friday, which might be true. Um, I didn't even know that many people was hip to this shoe. And then it's like, obviously, if a shoe get low enough, people would go for it. Like, once this hit $40 or $50 or something like that, I don't think it will be any sizes left. Like, And the reason I think people would pick up on it, not because they know Agassi, but if they probably do pick up on it, it's because they would actually like probably like the shoe or something like that. So, I'm assuming uh, uh, that would just super great to me man if you like if you getting it because you like the shooting great oh uh, we got some craftsmanship problems like right here see that you see that purple right there it looked like it would be peeled off though because i was just fiddling with it yeah that's just a little purple glue or something y'all know how it is with nike though man um, I can't wait to do the one foot with them. I'm going to show you guys both of them. Just so you can see how they look together. This is obviously the side without. This is the uh, left side. And I'm going to say it again, man. Patience is key, man. Always been saying that. But I haven't said it in a few months. And uh, you to, to actually get your collection up, though, man, you need to be a seeker of kicks. You need to actually... You, you need to actually like looking for kicks. If you hate looking for kicks, only way you probably don't care for looking for kicks is if you probably got like a lot of money to buy kicks in general. But if you on a budget, you got to like looking for kicks. That's the only way you're going to really get your sneaker collection up. If you hate looking for kicks, you're going to hate. You ain't going to have that many kicks or get the ones that you want all like that. Or... You might uh, end up getting ripped off big time. So rate, comment, and subscribe if you want. This is Neil Goodfella. Goodfella Neil. Peace. I thought the camera went off. Oh, and before I leave, follow me on Twitter at Neil Goodfella. Don't just stock the kicks. Rock the kicks, and I damn sure will be rocking these. Peace.